It's another snow day. This is uh, March 2nd, 2015. And yet again, stuff is delayed and closed on a Monday morning because of another snowstorm. Ah! Okay. So, in my last video, I had said about the Mint losing money. Not all the time, just one time. But that's okay because I wanted people to actually research stuff for themselves. You don't take someone's word for something in a video. You go out and you look at stuff and a lot of people on YouTube have mistakes. And here's the irony about it. So I will say some things people won't like and they will only research the things I say they don't like. But they will not research their beloved guru. Their beloved guru can tell them a whole string of things and they won't even look into any of it because it's their beloved guru. But if someone says something they don't like, they will get a magnifying glass out and try and find where's any mistake, right? Well, that's not saying I didn't make mistakes. What I'm saying is that's a phenomenon. So that's an observation I have. And another thing is you get someone they throw a video on YouTube, they get several thousand views, and they get this air of authority about them. Even the people criticizing them somehow think there's authority. There is no authority. I'm just some person with an iPhone, and I make videos, and I slap them on YouTube, and that's it. There's nothing else behind it than that. That's all it is. In fact, the only difference between me and most people watching is I have done something to get views, right? Something I've done or several things I have done happen to get me views. And that's all that it comes from. There's no air of authority or whatever, right? It's like um, I'm just the same kind of person who's leaving comments except that you can see me and you can hear me and for some reason some people will watch me. Okay, so I want to address another point. Now, What's, what's, the, what's, what's what's silver and gold and precious metals doing here? Let me pull up the old Kitco here. What does the old Kitco say? It says connecting. Now it says, hey, market's open. Uh, I see all green, but it's not big green. So 1661 for silver, up four cents. 12, 17, 30, up like three bucks and change for gold. Okay, a flat day, but it's flat in an upward manner. Okay, so I want to talk about kind of another phenomenon related to complexity and other things. So the History Channel had aired a, 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 a show about ancient aliens, and that was a couple years ago. So the History Channel, right, there's a huge air of authority. I mean, it's the History Channel that's on the TV. It's a lot of people watch it, and you got the big, it's business big H that looks really official, right? So you must be able to trust everything on the History Channel, right? Right? No. So I saw this video on YouTube debunking this show. So this person did like a three-hour video where they were very thorough about criticizing this ancient aliens show. At the beginning of the show, the person making the video said that they, one time, were really, or they still are in the whole thing about ancient aliens. And, you know, I personally think it's very possible that aliens have visited our planet or are still visiting our planet. I mean, I think that's really possible. I mean, if there was real proof that came out, I'd be like, okay, sure, you know, I'm not surprised this stuff could happen. However, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be so gullible to believe anybody who makes such a claim. And on this video, or on the, on the documentary, there's all these people who, they have the air of authority and expert who are saying, this must have been created by ancient aliens, or here is proof of ancient aliens. And the, the, the critic, the guy who was like me and Silver, I was kind of like this guy, when it comes to aliens, right, ancient aliens, this guy was kind of me when it came to Silver. And then he became more skeptical, skeptical, but he's still kind of like a, quote, believer. Because this guy is still like, you know, I think Asian aliens could have existed, and I'm willing to believe it. But I'm going to go ahead and debunk all the crackpots who are just ruining it for, for, for the people who really want to do serious research. So 
that's how I see like the silver is, right? You've got some real legit people making some real things about silver that are real and they're factual and they're great. But you have the waters muddied by so much nonsense that you're, you're, you're saying, someone drink, drink a cup of the silver fountain, but the silver fountain is all full of dirt and stuff and I'm trying to filter the water. So in this documentary, basically in the History Channel, Every single person, just about every single person on there who was making claims about the ancient aliens was disproved so much, I, I realized that these people are either willful, willful, willfully ignorant or they're just con men, right? These people are selling books, selling newsletters, selling magazines about the ancient aliens and the stuff they're talking about is so easily debunked the parallel to a lot of these silver gurus that their stuff is so easily debunked, but there's a huge operation on faith, right? Of what's going on is the people, the people, a lot of people watching this stuff, they, they don't want to dig deeper. And if they do, they want to discount it. And then I saw another really good um, documentary about the great cathedral in Venice. There's this huge cathedral that look that it blew people's minds for centuries because they didn't know how it was made and the way it was made, uh, appeared to be, um, you know, using techniques that the people at that time um, just couldn't grasp, but they figured out how it was done. And human ingenuity is absolutely amazing. I'm going to skip back. So, in, in, in one of these claims, that they're saying, oh, yeah, these like these 800 ton stones couldn't have been built, and these are stones made of like diorite and granite. And well, actually, the stones were. Um, red sandstone that had some diorite and granite and were actually 150 ton. So on this ancient alien show, they're saying these ancient people could not have moved 800 ton granite diorite stones. Well, actually, they were 150 ton red sandstone that did have diorite and granite. So the, the distance between, between 150 tons and like 800 is so mind-boggling huge. That's an error of epic proportions. And that kind of error is all over this um, ancient aliens documentary history channel. It's like the, the, the people making, making these claims are just so wrong about so many, many things. And it's like, but if you're watching the history channel, how would you know that you wouldn't? So that's my parallel to the silver stuff. It's just the same exact silver stuff and yeah, I make mistakes all the time in my videos. The purpose of my videos is to get you to think and research, right? If I say something that's wrong and you go ahead and do you do the actual research, that's the whole point is you've got to do the research yourself and not, and not trust anybody, right? Okay, so thanks for watching. And I hope they clear these roads. This is really frustrating. Every Monday morning, and stuff shut down in my area, blah. But on the plus side, it lets me do some, like, real research, I guess. All right, thanks and be well.